I don't know about you, but I know at least like 20 animals off the top of my head. You're a smart person, you probably know like 20, maybe even 25 animals off the top of your head. But you don't know the really weird ones, and that's what we're talking about today. That's what we're gonna be talking about. I've discovered, thanks to the internet, thanks to YouTube, a lot of really weird animals that not many people know about. And I feel like they deserve the same amount of attention as like a giraffe or a dog or... That's, that's all I can think of right now. <laughs> so anyways, here's the first one. So out in the Middle East, there's this country called Damascus. And they're famous for a couple of things like Damascus steel. It's known for its ruins. And we're gonna cut there because I can't think of anything else. But we're not gonna talk about that old stuff today. No! Today we're talking about a species called the Damascus goat. What's a Damascus goat? Why do I care? Let me tell ya. The Damascus goat was bred in the region of Damascus to produce a high quality and high quantity of milk. They're easily recognizable by their large foreheads and long floppy ears. And you're probably like, hey Kai, that doesn't look too weird. Just a goat with a big head and floppy ears. It's not that weird. It's not as weird as my grandma. Not as weird as that old lady that lives down the street. You know, the one. The one where uh, you see her walk in and she makes eye contact with you and then you turn your head and act like you didn't notice her and you keep walking your dog. But you know that in the background she actually is still watching you and you can fear her. You can feel her cold aging eyes bore into your soul, like slowly draining your life and stealing it for herself. That old lady? Let's just jump into the weird stuff, because honestly, that's what we're all here to see. There are artists in Hollywood that get paid tens of thousands and even millions of dollars to conjure up creatures that haunt your nightmares to this day. Believe it's a mother nature to come up with the scariest monsters of all. If you've ever had a nightmare in your life, this thing not only causes it, but it also feeds off of it. Imagine, it's 3 in the morning, you're trying to fall asleep, but you hear something squeezing through your air vents. You see it standing over your bed, its cloven hooves spread out like three fingers. Your life essence is going straight into its massive forehead, powering its brain. It's absorbing your knowledge that you've accumulated over the course of your life and adding it to its own. It knows your social security number. So initially your thought may be, is this a Satan? <laughs> is this a Satan? <laughs> yes, it is. But also, it's a living, breathing creature that could one day show up at your own house. And granted, this is a highly mutated specimen. But that doesn't lessen the fact that this is a living creature and it's somewhere in this world. And right now, it's thinking of you. I actually don't own this account, the goat does. It's watching you, right now. <laughs> and the worst part is, is, that this is not only just an alive creature, but it's breeding. And that means it could show up to your house at any time. <laughs> I drink one of these every day to be a strong boy. I don't know, I don't know where to go from here. <laughs> uh, what time is it? <laughs> it's 2.30. <laughs> I've been doing this for half an hour. <laughs> I've got to try and pile this all together with tape and a paper clip. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, it's so strong. This is like concentrate caffeine. It's supposed to taste like mango, but it tastes like sadness. 